You're looking for your first motorcycle and you want to figure out whether or not a 50cc motorbike or scooter is the right choice for you. Today we're going to go over the pros and cons of owning a 50cc moped or scooter. This video is not sponsored, but it is supported by ridingreviews.co.uk. So if you want to support this channel or you've got anything out, out of the information that I provide you, please go over to www.ridingreviews.co.uk to support the channel. So today we're going to go over the pros and cons of owning a 50cc motorbike or scooter. By the end of this video, you should know exactly what you need to know before you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to buy one. So we're gonna go through the pros first and I will explain everything as best I can. A 50cc for a 16 year old is gonna give you a lot of freedom. It means you're not gonna to have to worry about the taxi of mum and dad, you're not gonna to have to wait for the buses and you're not gonna to have to pay a lot of money for taxis. You will have your own freedom. You'll be able to go out, do what you like, when you like without having to worry about other people getting you to wherever it is you're going. The prices aren't actually that bad for a 50cc. Generally, you're looking at somewhere in the region of £1,749 plus £150 OTR for something like the Yamazaki F60 or Yamazaki F50. Or you can go for something a little bit more expensive like the Yamazaki YM50, which is £2,299 plus £150 OTR. There are other brands out there, so you can go for the Aprilia, which is Euro 4 version. You should be looking at somewhere in the region of £5,500. And WK do one, I believe theirs is somewhere in the region of two and a half. Have a look around. You can potentially find yourself a bargain if you look. And if you ask, you may be able to get a discount as well. After the initial purchase of your 50cc motorbike or scooter, you are going to be able to uh, maintain it and ride it for a fairly cheap price. They are very economical. You should be able to get about 120 miles to the gallon and you will be doing your first service before you empty the tank on most models. Motorbikes and scooters uh, on a motorbike, you're normally going to get somewhere in the region of 13 to 17 litres in it. Scooters, you're going to get somewhere in the region of five to seven litres, depending on the make and model. But most of those are going to get you over 150 miles to the tank for the scooters. The motorbikes, you'll be looking at more like 350 miles to the tank. The main thing that you want to take away from the pros of owning a 50cc is the freedom it gives you. As I say, you're not going to have to worry about mum and dad taking you to wherever. You're not going to have to pay for taxis and you are not going to have to uh, wait for the bus, which obviously can get cold. Cons. A 50cc motorbike or moped are legally restricted to approximately 30 miles an hour. At 30 miles an hour, you are going to be holding up the traffic slightly, and you have to be aware of this and change your riding style accordingly. They don't have a massive amount of torque, Legally, they are restricted on that in the UK as well. To actually get on a motorbike or scooter, you need a couple of things first. So you will need your CBT, a provisional license, the bike, which will cost around £2,000. You will also need a protective helmet. That is a legal minimum requirement for riding on a motorbike in the UK at the minute. Don't just wear a helmet. You need a jacket. You need gloves and you need a pair of protective boots. They don't have to be motorbike boots, you can use steel toe cap boots, something that protects your ankle, but you do need them. For all of that sort of stuff, you're looking at 150 to maybe 250 pounds. Insurance for a 16 year old to ride a moped should be somewhere in the region of 500 to 700 pounds. All my information for this is from Bikeshore. There is a link in the description if you want to go out and get yourself a quotation for Bikeshore. If you do use the link, Riding Reviews will get a little bit of a kickback, but it helps me support this channel. So please do that if you need insurance. But usually, Bikeshore is usually the cheapest. I've seen many, many people uh, go out and try and get insurance, and through experience, Bikeshore is 99% of the time the cheapest. 
I would try and avoid the comparison websites because usually they put on a little bit extra so that they can get their commission from it. But anyway, last one. If you are riding a motorbike, any motorbike, doesn't matter if it's 50cc or anything, different seasons, different clothing, and you are gonna get really cold in the winter, you're gonna get really hot in the summer, there is no air conditioning, so this is something that you've got to take into consideration whilst riding. If you get your mum and dad or, or whomever to take you in the car, you've got air conditioning, but you do have to get them to take you, which sometimes there are strings attached. So this is just a quick guide on whether you should buy a 50cc and the pros and cons that go with it. If you've got any others, please comment below, or even if you've got any questions, comment below, and I will do my very best to answer every single one. Please hit the thumbs up if you like this video, and hit the subscribe button to stay updated to all of my latest content. But as always,